Now, in this video, we are going to look at uh, uh, signal attenuation. In the first video, we looked at channels of communication. The second video, we looked at modulation. And in the previous videos, we looked at uh, digital communication, where I was looking at digitization of uh, analog signals. Now, attenuation. Attenuation is the gradual decrease in the power of a signal the further it travels. The decrease in the signal power from the transmitted value P1 to that received P2 can be very high. The ratio P2 to P1, that is of the output to the input, is measured using a logarithmic scale to make the numbers more manageable or smaller. The unit of this ratio is the bell. Now, before I move on with that, I want just to talk about what causes this attenuation. Now, as the signal is transmitted, it passes through the medium. Uh, it could be, the medium could be air, the medium could be glass in an optical fiber. So it tends to be absorbed, tends to be uh, scattered, and uh, the received power is going to be less than the transmitted power. So that is the attenuation that we're talking about. Also, if the next repeater station or the regeneration station is far away, then the signal tends to have a power which is very, very low. Now, inside this signal or inside this cable, there is, uh, like I said, the, the strength of the signal is measured in, in, in power. That's the units of power. That's, those are the watts that we're talking about. Now, when you get to a repeater station, there is an amplifier which tends to amplify the power of that signal once again so that it goes back to where it was. But now as the signal is being transmitted through the medium, it tends to lose power and it tends to gain noise. So there's going to be noise inside there due to the heating up if it's a wire or due to interferences that will be coming in. So that uh, noise uh, also has got its own power. So you have also noise power in there. You've got the transmitted power in there, which is now being uh, attenuated. So as we look at this topic, just Bear in mind that you now have noise, you now have the transmitted power, and then the received power is what you get right at the end. That is before it is being amplified for uh, it to be retransmitted or for it to reach the ears of the people that are supposed to get it. Now, so going back to bells, we say that we measure it in terms of bells. The number of bells is equal to log the uh, ratio of P2 to P1. Remember, P2 is what's been transmitted or what's been received rather, we can just say it's the output power. So we can just call it P out over P in. Now, a bell is a large unit. The power ratio is usually expressed in as the bell, where one bell is equal to 10 decibels. That is 10 dBs, right? So we're going to use uh, uh, decibels instead of bells. So number of decibels is equal to 10, the logarithm of P2 over P1. So 10 logarithm of p2 over p1 so these are des uh, decibels if p2 is greater than p1 then the dbs will be positive in other words we have uh, amplified the signal if p2 is less than p1 then we have um, attenuation so attenuation is okay there so if p2 is less than uh, p1 then we have uh, uh, attenuation that is uh, taking place there and the dbs will be negative so furthermore db changes can be added algebraically right for example uh, p2 is 1000 times p1 right so the number of decibels will be 10 logarithm of 1000 over 1 because p does the value of p2 1000 and the value of p1 will be 1 so that gives you 30 so the number is positive because the power is increased, so the signal has been amplified. I hope it makes sense so far. Now, let's look at the first example here. Uh, that's that of attenuation in a cable. A signal of 450 milliwatts input uh, to a cable of attenuation 6 uh, decibels per kilometer. Calculate the power out of the signal that emerges after traveling through 4 kilometers of this cable. Now, this 6 dBs per kilometer is called the attenuation per unit length. So attenuation per unit length times the length gives you the attenuation. So attenuation, total attenuation is when you calculate 
uh, you multiply the attenuation per unit length by the length only to get the, the attenuation itself. So 6 times 4 gives you 20, minus 24 dBs, remember, because it is an attenuation, so it's negative. So it says uh, we want to find the P out. So P out uh, will be equal to, uh, we first of all arrange it in a way that you know number of decibels is equal to 10 logarithm of uh, P2 over P1 or P out over P in, right? So it's going to be minus 24 is equal to 10 logarithm of P out over P in, which is going to give you 1.8 uh, milliwatts. The second example, signal to noise ratio. A signal of power 2.8 watts is applied to a cable of attenuation 6.8 decibels per kilometer. The constant noise power in the cable is 8.0 microwatts and the signal to noise ratio must not fall below 35 dBs. Calculate the maximum length of uninterrupted cable that may be used to transmit the signal. Now again, like I said that we, are now, we now have noise in the signal. So there is a minimum noise uh, uh, signal to noise ratio that is uh, uh, required for the signal to be heard on the other end. So if the noise supersedes what is supposed to be transmitted, then we have failed the communication. So we need to calculate this signal to noise uh, ratio. Now the dBs for that is equal to 10 logarithm of power of signal over power of noise. Now, now that we are given the dBs of the signal to noise ratio, that's the 35 dBs. So we can say 35 is equal to 10 logarithm of power of signal over the noise power. Now the noise power, we are given it to be 8 microwatts. So that will be the 8 microwatts that we are using there. So after we find this power of the signal, that is the power that we then, uh, uh, that we then use in our, as our power out. Okay. So again, uh, to get the power of the signal, we are going to make it the subject of the formula, which is going to give you uh, 10 to the power of 3.5 is equal to power of signal over 8 times 10 to the power of minus 6. So the power of the signal will be equal to 25.3 milliwatts. Okay. Now, so this is going to be our power output. Okay, so this is going to be our power output. So um, we're going to uh, say that... Uh, uh, the attenuation here is going to be equal to uh, 10 logarithm of uh, the power output which we have calculated over the power input which is the 2.8 uh, watts that we had at first. So after we find this, this is our attenuation. Okay, so minus 20.4 decibels is our attenuation. But then remember that formula which says that attenuation per unit length is equal to attenuation over length. Now we want to find length. So we're given the attenuation per unit length here, 6.8 dBs per kilometer. So to find the attenuation, we, multiply, we, we can multiply by the kilometers. But if you, if you want to find the length, we then make the length the subject. So in this case, it's going to be length is equal to 20.4 over 6.8, which gives you 3 kilometers. I hope that makes sense. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments. Uh, if you do not understand any of the workings here. <clears throat> Example number three, amplifier gain. A signal of power 64 milliwatts enters a cable of length 15 kilometers. At the end of the cable is an amplifier with a power gain of 60 dBs. If the cable is an attenuation of 4.2 dBs per kilometer, calculate the signal power that emerges from the amplifier. So this time our P2, we expect our P2 to be greater than P1 because it's coming from an amplifier. So again, dBs is equal to 10 logarithm of P out over P in. Uh, when, there's a, when there are several repeater amplifiers along the transmission line, the total gain equals the sum of the gains of each of the amplifiers. So total attenuation of the cable is going to equal 4.2. Uh, times 15. Remember, we said that uh, attenuation per unit length is equal to attenuation uh, divided by the length. Okay, so to find the, t uh, the attenuation, we then uh, multiply by the kilometers there to get 63 dBs. Okay, so now using this attenuation now, it's going to be minus 63 is equal to 10 logarithm of P out over P in. Then after you find this P out, uh, in this case, it's going to be 
uh, 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 8 watts. So this is going to uh, be um, our P in this time. Okay, this is going to be our P in. Uh, that is getting in the amplifier. Okay, so this is so our, our our signal moves as it moves, it gets attenuated. Then it gets to an amplifier. So the power that's going into the amplifier is the power out that we used that we calculated there. And then afterwards, it's going to be amplified. And then you see, so it's going to be sixty. That's our gain. It's going to be ten logarithm of P out over P in. So, which we get uh, uh, 32 milliwatts. Now, our last example here is uh, that of uh, which involves again amplification and attenuation. A 200 milliwatt signal enters a cable system of length 100 kilometers. The cable has an attenuation of 8 dB per kilometer. Amplifiers of gain 41 dB are located at 5 kilometer intervals. Calculate the total power loss of the signal as a result of traveling through the 100 kilometer cable. B, the total signal gain is a result of passing through 20 amplifiers in the system. Then C, the signal power emerging from the 20th amplifier at the end of the system. So we calculate the total power that is lost, that is through attenuation. So we remember attenuation per unit length is equal to attenuation over length. So which means attenuation. Uh, um, the total power is going to be equal to the 8 dB times the total kilometers that travel that we traveled. That's 100 kilometers. So you get 800 dBs. And then also you look at the total gain. That is, you are told that how many amplifiers we do have uh, amplifiers of gain. 41 dBs are located at 5 kilometer intervals. How many 5 kilometer interval? How many 5 kilometers are there in 100 kilometers? There are 20. So we multiply that gain by 20. Okay, so it's going to be 820 dBs. And then we find the net change, whether we're going to get a gain, net gain or a net uh, loss. So we're going to find the difference, and the difference is 20 dBs, which means that this, the, the, uh, co in conclusion, we have got gain more than the, the loss. So now we can now say dBs is equal to 10 logarithm of P out over P in. Now what did we get in? We, get the, we got the 200 milliwatts in. What are we getting out? That will be 20 watts from there. So I hope this uh, helps with your uh, understanding. Please uh, feel free to ask questions and comment uh, on any part that you found challenging. Signing out.